All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, a product filter within WooCommerce in WordPress. And the idea is that once you've got a number of products in your shop, it gets rather difficult to filter them for the customer to find what they're looking for. So you look here, there's plenty of pages of bikes and the customer wants to find a particular bike or a particular style of bike or price range and they need a way of filtering it out. And that's what we have here. This is a filter, okay? So we can set it by price, manufacturer, style. To do that, we need to set it up by using what's called the attributes within a product, okay? So we look at a product here. Here's a bike. And we scroll down. In this case, it's under sizes. These are the attributes. So the attribute here is extra large, large, medium, and small. Now, we have to do attributes to set up the variations. So here, they've set up the variations, okay? But we don't want that, the variation. We just want the attributes, okay? So we can do the attributes and not do the variation. So let's have a look at that. So we have the bike. And we have our attributes. And there's the size, and we look at that. It's got user variations ticked, and there's another video explaining how to do that. But that's fine. We're going to leave that. We're going to add some more. So we're going to add the manufacturer. These attributes have already been set up. Okay, so it's uh, Cannondale. We're going to do style. Let's add that. Uh, let's select all and see what there is. So it's. Uh, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. It is a 29, it's a mountain bike. It isn't that, it isn't that. It's not that, it's not that, it's not that. In fact, it's missing one. I've deleted one, I've sort of deleted. Hard tell. And finally, let's do the gender. So add the gender. So unisex, because a lady can ride a man's bike, and it's predominantly male. It's not particularly a female's frame, so we're not going to add a female. Save attributes. Because that's all we need to do. Okay, so that's all being saved. And if we go on here, it was the Cannondale Trail 5. So we'll try and find one of them. So we've got it updated. And we look in our attribute box when it's fully loaded. Okay, it's got all the attributes there. And product category, we can now filter it down by Cannondale. And 29er. And that would be enough searches in this case for it to show up. So it was a trail five, which is there. So the filters worked and that's how you load the filter up. So I hope you find it helpful.